money, music. Fam, money, music. Fam, money, music. Put my city on the map. That's the plan. Rocking shows, stacking dough. That's the plan. What's going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over the most locked down defense in Madden 23. If you haven't been following the series, go ahead, take a second, and check out the other videos right after you are done with this one. Appreciate all the love and support. Ebooks have been updated and they are 30% off for the next 48 hours. So make sure you go in the link in the description or in the comment section to the pinned comment and make sure you get your ebook so you can dominate in Madden 23. Let's get into today's bang, 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 banger. All right, so we are on the defensive side of the ball and my nickel over Kansas City Chiefs playbook. I've been giving you guys little bits and pieces at a time how you can make your own scheme. OK, first thing first, auto base align. If you are going against a running quarterback, go to conservative option defense. Put this on match coverage. OK, now. It's two things that you can do that I didn't go over in the past couple videos. You can go and push the right stick, your right stick to the left down at the bottom where it says packages. Do free safety one inside. Come in here, make your substitutions. We'll put uh, Barrett right there and then you can go ahead and do whatever on the back side. You can put your best safeties in, 77 overall. Drop your safeties in the box right here. This is exactly how I play. Now, right here, you're going to have to sub back in a good pass rusher. Your audibles, as always, you're going to have Overstorm Brave. You're going to have Cover 3 Seam like this, or you can have another Cover 3 Seam match. And then we're going to come down here. I like to now mix in Cover 6 and then Tampa 2. Okay, so with this strong safety package, my cover two shell, I can turn into a cover three shell. That's all broken down into the ebook, and I'm going to be showing you game clips and then walking over what you do against a user. Okay, so right here, we're going to come out in our base play, which is cover four quarters. Okay, now the big nickel out of this same playbook, you have more matching concepts. You have cover six, cover nine, cover four palms. Okay, anything with the pink zones on them okay you have the purple zones and then the light pink zones light pink zones mean it has matching concepts on that play okay so we're gonna go over a few popular type of offensive formations that you might see online okay so right here the first thing i like to do pinch my linebackers which is right d pad to the right and then down on the left stick bring these guys down a couple steps right here and then first we're going to see how my opponent plays so i'm going to go ahead and take b put him into a flat and then i'm going to blitz my user so we're going to have one rusher two rushers three rushers Plus my blitzing user, you want to always have at least four people rushing on the play. So we're going to let this play play out. I'm not going to hold defense. I'm going to let you see how the zones work. So on this play, this is my defensive shell to start it off. Okay, they have three receivers to the right and two to the left. Okay, so we have four zones going to the right side of the field and then two to the left, but we still have three people over there. So I'm going to stay right here in the middle and I'm going to let these routes come back to me and then we're going to have pretty decent pass rush. Okay, so I want you to see exactly how cover four is playing on that play. This is me, my base play, how I'm going to do it in case they are sending the running back out. The reason why I don't want to be aggressive early is because I want them to send the running back out because in the ebook, if they send the running back out, we have ways to get instant pressure from the cornerback or from one of our defensive linemen. So get the ebook 30% off so you can scream at your opponent. So right here, as you can see, if the running back is going out, we have a flat on that side. Now I'm staying right here for a quick pass. I'm going to get aggressive, jump underneath these routes, but right here I wasn't really using it. So as you can see, 
on this play, everything is locked down. Now there is some separation down the field right here because this guy don't have very good awareness. So you can make adjustments to that to cover that. So if you went right here, put better uh, cornerbacks or something in that position instead of 60 overalls. So if you come right here, uh, Hufunga is a 78 overall, Ward is an 86. We'll make a quick change, put Tufunga on that side. He's showing me that he wants to do corner routes. We'll come back into our play, and right here, we'll do another corner route. And as I said, we're gonna peach. We're gonna go ahead and put him into a zone, bring him down a couple steps like this, and then blitz our user. You can even bring him right here. You can bring him back. You can bring him over to the side. Now, if I sit over to the side, I'm gonna push A up on the right stick, because then I can be locked. Now I can't move any direction in case I want to shoot the run, okay? So that's something that'll be broke down more in the ebook. So if I come, boom, come down here, look for these routes, come back out here, the pressure is on the quarterback, okay? That's what it's all about. You're only gonna get, as long as you are sending at least four people at the quarterback, that's including blitzing yourself. So three linemen or two people with a linebacker in your user, okay? So as you can see, I come down, this is how I use her. Now I come back to the route that breaks open. He can check down real fast to that route right there. The thing is, if the opponent is not looking for the check down and he has his eyes already set on a long developing route, pressure is all in his face already, okay? So when he hikes the ball, if he's looking for any long developing routes, I'm gonna take his quick routes, let the pressure get to him, and then he's gonna have to either step into the pocket and try to make that corner route right there. Boom, he can try to throw that right there. It's a chance he might fumble or get a throw out of sec. Another thing is under pressure. So we'll set it up again. Pinch the linebackers, come down right here, and you can do the same thing with this lineman, okay? So now I bluff blitz this guy over here. It's just different ways that you can do your coverage. So now this purple zone is gonna run out there in the zone. He's gonna drop back bluff blitz in the middle. Sometimes he chases somebody and I will come right here, okay? So if we do the play, now I know he's gonna bluff blitz through the middle. I can come over here for these zones and now we have our main pass rusher who's gonna get that one-on-one -on -one and he's gonna be able to dominate. Okay, so if you bluff blitz somebody, know what zone he's going to play, and then you take another area. So as you can see, we bluff blitzed on that side. I know that he's running over here to the right, so now I can be aggressive to the left. Now, I'm leaving the short row open right there. He can throw it to this row all day because I can adjust to that. I can adjust to the two and three yard passes, but I don't want to give up no 18, 20, 25 yard passes without the pass rush getting there. So right there before the long development routes can get there we have the pass rush so I am forcing my opponent to number one want to send his running back out to get the quick reads and number two not look down the field okay so if he gets comfortable trying to set up long developing routes cover three beaters cover four beaters number one I'm gonna already be able to show that I can get pressure on him and number two I can take away the short routes by myself okay Rockin shows that can go. That's the plan. Uh, if you ain't talking money, what the fuck you saying? Uh, Cause we ain't stopping till I hold fucking fans straight. Put my city on the map. That's the plan. Uh, they tried to jack a nigga swag. That's a damn shame. And hey, you ain't really bought this life. Stay in your damn lane. I'm about to take off on these niggas like an airplane. You ain't like me before, what about now? I'm the motherfucking man, better bow down. Flow's hot enough to burn the whole town down. Fuck a punchline, nigga, that's a roundhouse. Kick knowledge to you niggas, what you gonna do? We can throw hands if you really want to. Put a band on it if you really want to. I get murdered on the track using Pro Tools. Man, fuck these niggas, man, fuck. Fuck these niggas, man, fuck these niggas, that's three bombs. I'ma have these hoes, I'ma have these bitches, I'ma have these niggas push a rewind. My granny in heaven with a smile on the face right now, cause she know we gon' be fine. Whole fam locked up when them niggas touch down, we gon' dance on you haters like D.I. Like Diddy, high pop on the beat, I'm good with the flow, I can pop, I can sweep, I'm a fool, I'm a beast, every line I deceased. White teeth, fresh Tim's Levi's with a crease. These niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. These niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. Let's go. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Same niggas that switched up on me, them the same niggas blowing up my phone right now. But I ain't got time right now. Cause a nigga on the grind right now. With OGs blowing la la la.